working off the Harbor Freight pump. My uh, piping that I used was so rotten I kept having to unplug the sprinklers. So finally got most of that uh, rod out of them where the sprinklers aren't plugging with it. And it also doesn't hurt that my pump has a screen with um, one inch holes in it. It's a really, really coarse screen so it does suck up rocks and would plug stuff up with rocks. You can see one of the turning nozzles on top has a little bit of a plug on it. Earlier I had sucked up a bunch of leaves and plant matter that came down, but uh, big sprinklers didn't care. Again, that would be solved if I ran a fire screen. Either that or it's a residual pebble that got sucked in. I already had to clean that the other day as well. But uh, again, most people aren't running one inch holes on their screens. And uh, that was just the one the pump came with, so that's why it just is on there. But yeah, she covers some ground. This is 33 and a half feet wide where the sprinklers are located and in. Sounds like I'm going to have to fill my pump with fuel. It's starting to die. But, uh, yeah, it's just some really uneven ground where it's going through and the pipe's been up. You can see it shows up here pretty well. And, uh, yeah, this, this is actually pulling three inch line with my test. So this is no big deal. That top never slows down, no matter how much weight I seem to put on it. I might in the future uh, put up a test to, just out of curiosity how much force I'm actually getting because it sure seems like I'm getting more force out of this than uh, what I originally uh, thought I was going to get with some math calculations here. And uh, I calculated using foot pounds on this and understanding a little bit of equations with thrust and about the maximum pressure I'm probably going to get out of this pump over here, which is just a Harbor Freight pump. I can't even see. Yeah, there we go. And uh, it should have been exerting, assuming the spool was at one foot, which it wasn't. It's more like four inches, but I actually just calculated for simplicity's sake at one foot. At one foot, it should be putting out about 1,400 and 70 foot uh, foot pounds so at a foot it's that's about but you know so see at four inches it's uh, about three times more so I'd have to calculate that well maybe that's correct but uh, I don't know that's a lot of hose it's pulling a lot of force it'll pull this whole three inch hose here right now I've probably only got 250 feet on there and earlier I had had it dead pull uh, a full thousand feet and that was before I beefed up the frame I actually started bending the frame of itself and I had it hit the end of itself and pull a Crosby clamp actually slide it on the cable which was impressive before it bent the frame and yeah, I have some earlier footage on that one. That was in a previous video, but uh, I'll come up with a stop system so when it gets to the end, it all stops. That was <laughs> coming to the end. It didn't slow it down. It just bent itself until something decided to pop off that drove it. So, And it was actually a test I was going to actually do. So, I should really measure how wide these sprinklers are thrown, but it sure looks like uh, it's almost the same width as the entire machine here. Like I said, that machine measures 33 and a half feet. It might be a bit bigger now because of changing over to flanges on those joints. And it's probably going to get even bigger than that because I plan to maybe add another section of two, uh, pipe on this haven't decided. I'm still uh, wanting to do a bunch of tests on this just to see if I'm happy with it. But so far it seems to be putting out plenty of water. A couple of the areas I've tested on are actually already greening up and considering we've been mid 90s to low 100s and everything is this burnt out here. The only stuff that's green are weeds. 
So I'd say that's an uh, impressive amount of water output. Right now we're just moving along in uh, second gear. It's got first gear to move a little slower. I like this speed. It seems to be about the right pace for the amount of rice soap. I get a touch of puddle up, a touch of runoff, which means I'm just hitting that point where the soil isn't quite keeping up with water put out, and that means I'm overcoming a lot of that evaporation. Because if I've ran lower than that, my experience has been with most sprinklers, if I run a little less than that, where I don't get any type of runoff, I usually am having to hit the soil a lot more frequently. And uh, with a sprinkler like this, you want a good soak, and then you forget about it for a bit. So, Sometime later. I well, pulled the uh, end of the hose off. Looked like it did pretty close to the edge, end of its run where the uh, pump ran out of fuel. You can see how much it sprung forward. That's how much tension these uh, it puts under the hose and uh, uh, the cable. So now the cable slacked. Just kind of goes out there and it's got a real wide loop and goes back around. So. Just got to reconnect it. And I'm also not using a hose that's uh, ready for that. If I was using Ironsides hose, uh, Ironsides um, type hose, it would uh, handle that pulling a lot better. I you can see those clamps are on there nice and hard. So, not a clamp problem. And also if I had used like a uh, metal fitting, but uh, my hose, I use this with the NARS sprinkler which is iron sides. I use all metal fittings. And like I said, this was just to test this prototype out and run it through its paces and put several hours on it just to see where a lot of the wear and tear is going to be occurring here. But hey guys, look at all that grass out there. This is the second run over it that I'm doing right now. So you can see I'm traveling back over it. I uh, figured I'd give it one more hit this year because we're getting toward the end of the season. But it's made it nice and green. You can see out in the distance there, it's just gray. And you got a few of the seasonal grasses that aren't going to come back. See like right there. But just greened it up. I couldn't be much, uh, more happy than, than I am here. This is It's delivering exactly how I want it to. Here, I'll even show you across the ditch here. This is just drain water that comes off the field that I'm making use of. See how much drier that is over there? You uh, get toward the edge of the ditch and over it, just dry. But I'm happy. So this is working out. We'll go ahead and get this hose reconnected and keep on uh, working it and see what else fails. <laughs> 